friends. Happy Monday. Happy start of your week and happy Christmas week. Counting down the days until this weekend. Uh, who else is excited for Christmas? Um, <clears throat> read your hand in the comments. I uh, just want to let you know, uh, first of all, that I'm live in three locations this evening. Um, so I am live on Facebook, YouTube, and my private Facebook group. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and watching from a different platform. So I just want to welcome you all to my live this evening. And if you happen to be watching the replay, welcome to the replay. My name is Robin, and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations. And I'm also an independent designer with Chop Couture. And as I mentioned earlier, I am live in three locations if you happen to be, <coughs> excuse me, watching from my private Facebook group, if you wouldn't mind giving StreamYard permission to access your profile name and pick, um, that way StreamYard can tag your profile name and pick to your comment. If you don't click that permission link, then your comment will show up in my comment feed as Facebook user, and I won't know who to say hi to. <coughs> Again, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. If you say hi to me, I will definitely say hi to you as well. So with that, I'm going to flip the camera around. My apologies for popping a cough drought, but allergies are kicking up again. I don't know. I don't know if it's all the moisture in the air, but for some reason my cough is back and it's either listen to me with a cough drop in my mouth or listen to me coughing. So I'd rather you listen to me with a cough drop in my mouth. So my apologies. I see that Jason is watching from the other side of the door. Let me just check my resolution because I can't see my comments. Okay, so let's flip the camera. And then we're going to add in this and flip that. And there we go. So tonight we are doing hashtag monthly transfer Monday. So this is the exclusive club couture transfer for the month. Um, I have not used it yet this month. Um, I haven't been live a whole lot. Schedule's been crazy. Uh, we had a big service project at church last week. Um, and before that we were getting ready for it. So it's been a, as I can have a completely blank schedule. And for some reason, December just gets crazy. This is What a Wonderful World. It is an exclusive B-size transfer that is only available to Club Couture members or designers. So you get this with um, three paste packets. And these are the colors for the month. So you get Eucalyptus, uh, Shimmer Rose Gold, and Forest, which is a really pretty dark bluish green color. Yours won't come in tubs like that they will come in little palette singles like this so you'll get three um, paste packets and so that comes to your door if you are a club couture member it comes as a monthly diy subscription kit for 21.99 um, and there is a minimum of three months commitment to sign up but you can um, cancel at any time after that and there are also other perks and promos um, to being a Club Couture um, member. So if you have any questions, ask those in the comments. I also have a um, uh, smart bio link in the description of the video. <coughs> There's one that's called Designer Access Etsy Store Club Couture and more. So if you click that link, it will take you to other links and there's one in there specifically for Club Couture that might answer some more of your questions. So we're going to use this transfer. <coughs> I pulled out a tote bag from my stash. This one happens to be um, a 13 by 13 by 4. I think I got it at Michael's. So that is the tag. It's just a plain little canvas tote bag. Um, because we are using ink, I will also use an ink mat. And Chalk Couture does sell two sizes of ink mats. An 11 by 23, which um, most designers usually cut in half. So you get a smaller portion and a larger per portion. There's also a 17 by 17 ink mat. 
but if you are on the cheap, um, I happen to go to <coughs> Hobby Lobby and they have their own brand of uh, like uh, sticky mats for die cut machines. I like to wait till all of that stuff is on sale. So I actually bought the 12 by 24 cutting mat and it comes in two in a package. And so you can cut those up however you want. So I actually got four 12 by 12 ink mats for less than $10. So I thought that's, I think that's a pretty good deal. Yes, you can buy the chop tour ones. Um, but if you're kind of on a budget, which is kind of what my channel is all about, easy, inexpensive DIYs that don't break the bank, then I would suggest going and getting some of these cutting mats because uh, they are sticky. And so the nice thing about having a sticky mat in your ink project is one, you can see as I go to stick it down, it's going to reduce the amount of wrinkles that I have. It's going to uh, smooth out my fabric. So less lumps and bumps when I go to ink my project. Um, it's also, uh, because it's sticky back, it is mobilizing my fabric. So it's not, my fabric is not going to move around on me. And third, it's going to keep my ink from saturating through the top side and possibly um, inking the back side of the toe bag. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to rub out some more of these little bumps and bumps. And if you've been around a while, you know when I use a new transfer, there's a few things we have to do to it. First off, because these are reusable, I need to note the back side of this transfer. So I'm just going to write wonderful, wonderful world. That way I know that when I'm done cleaning this transfer, that this side is the back side of the backer sheet. And I need to put my transfer back on this side before I put it away to dry. <clears throat> also, we typically fuzz transfers when we, right before we start to chalk them. But if you are inking a project, um, I don't fuzz. I want as much sticky on the back side of this transfer as I can get. Um, and two, it helps if you know you're going to use that specific transfer to ink. I would suggest doing the inked project first. Um, that way it's fresh out of the package, super sticky. And you know you're going to get a lot of adhesion to your surface that you're inking on. So I'm just going to pull the backer sheet off of the transfer. So these are reusable about 8 um, to 12 times depending on how well you take care of them. I'm just trying to find the center of my design. So I'm just lightly folding it in half. But I'm putting a pretty hard crease up here at the top where my left hand is. And that's just going to give me a little mark. And I can kind of, I can see where they had tagged this bag. You can also do the same thing. Um, this would have been easier before I put it on the ink bag. But you can also just, I'm going to line the handles up, hoping that they are fairly centered. I'm going to try to put a little crease in that bag up there. Looks close to that little, close to where the tag was. But. So let's get all those wrinkles and crinkles back out. And I can line this mark with that mark that I made. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to really burnish it well. Make sure it's super stuck down. Okay. 
And there are a few places where it's kind of close to the edge. So just for some added insurance, I'm going to put a little bit of painter's tape in some of those spots. I just happen to have some here. So um, the cut, these are the paste colors that you'll get again with your transfer. However, they're going to be paste colors. And we do not have an ink color for forest or for shimmer rose gold. So we're going to do a little bit of color mixing to try to match, especially forest. So I'm just going to pop the top. And I pulled out cadet and meadow. We shall see. Sometimes when I color mix, I get poop brown. We should, we'll see what colors we get tonight. So I'm going to get some stir sticks and some color trays. So we'll see what we get. Don't be afraid to mix your colors. You don't have to own every color. Technically, this is Midnight Sky, but I have a ton of it, and I'm not going to buy another the cadet, the cadet color, which is a little lighter. Um, so use the colors that you have. You know, if you're on a budget, just buy the primary colors, and then you can mix the rest. You know, buy red, buy yellow, and then you can make orange, because up until this last fall, we didn't even have orange in the ink arsenal. So we've been having to make our own orange for a while. I'm going to start with a tad, a tiny bit less blue than green. And let's see what we get. Not even close. This may not work. Let's try a little bit more blue and see what happens. I wish they would come out with a forest ink color that would be gorgeous eh, that's getting a little better but i may have to make a lot more okay let's well, just i'm gonna have to make a lot more anyway so let's put that dollop down let's get another dollop of blue Not bad, that's pretty close. It's still a little more green, so I think I'm going to add some blue. Might have been too much blue. Now it's, it's actually, it's still a little more green than it is blue. It looks more like a hunter, kind of a dark hunter green. Let's add a little bit more in. I'm just excited that it's not poop brown.
that's actually a lot closer pretty close okay so let's try mixing our so let's put the lid back on that so it doesn't dry out so we have our eucalyptus we have our forest color and now let's try to make shimmer rose gold i know that in the very beginning um designers made shimmer rose gold with i think copper and gold but we'll try something a little different this would again be another really pretty ink color uh make sure the forest doesn't get too watered down because you'll have runs forest runs you're just hilarious <clears throat> so i'm gonna try shimmer copper and a little bit of berry i can hear him laughing at himself out there on the other side of the door so let's add some copper and let's add some little bit of berry and see what happens I'll probably get poop brown but Gonna need a lot more of that color. So this is shimmer copper and berry. And I have put a cart link to all of the products I'm using in the description of the video. The only thing that won't be in that cart link is the transfer because it um, you can only get that transfer as a club member or a designer. Yeah, this is kind of poop brown. Um, let's get my shimmer gold out and see. I think they, some of them used, I don't know if they used Marvelous, which have but that's peony let's try to lighten it up a bit so let's get a third stir stick and do a little tiny dab of peony just to kind of lighten that up to alleviate some of that baby poop brown vibe it's close That's pretty close. I'm going to add a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see what a little bit more gold does. It's probably going to make it look poopy again. Just want to kind of lighten it up a little bit add a little bit more shimmer into that mm -hmm. 
it's not bad it's not quite as shimmery as the rose gold <clears throat> but the colors there and it's not totally baby poop brown so now we have our ink colors we have our eucalyptus put all those to the side our eucalyptus our forest and our um shimmer rose gold i'm just gonna clean off oh that's a good idea i don't think i have they don't have shimmer frost in a in an ink and i'd be afraid of mixing paste and ink together i mean i could put in silver just to give it some shimmer But I, ow, I just knocked stuff over. But I don't have shimmer frost ink. That would be a very pretty color. And I have, I, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I'll just, we'll just go with what we have. Jason says my color mixing game is getting strong. Okay, so now the other thing is figuring out what colors. So I think I'm going to do these little greenery sprigs, obviously, in eucalyptus. I may do world in eucalyptus because it has one on the end. The sun would look pretty in the shimmer rose gold. And then I'll probably do forest on most of the the little swoopy lines and the big text and i may do shimmer rose gold here to add a little bit more in so otherwise i've made way too much I could also do, I might, because this is different font. Well, that one's not really, but. Hmm. Well, I know that I want to do that eucalyptus. So let's start there. So I'm just ah, making a mess is what I'm doing. Okay, let's get that totally out of the way. Luckily, I did not get that in there. Okay. Let's put the backer sheet down here as kind of my work surface. So I just have one of the, this is considered a small squeegee, but it's cut in half. Hello, Miss Margie. How are you? Margie, Margie. Um, welcome. Glad you're here. <clears throat> Thanks for hopping on. So we are doing a custom graphic tote bag with this month's club couture transfer um, we've done a little ink color mixing so now we're going to work with our ink so i have the eucalyptus ink and a small squeegee that i have cut in half so i'm just going to come over here this one's one of those designs where there's a lot of tight spaces which they're, these are not my favorite, but so I may have to do a lot of turning of my project. I don't normally like to go different directions, but with um, tight designs like this, I might have to. Meaning I prefer to either like just go up and down instead of up and down and left and right, but because this is such a tight design, I might have to try to remember to use a, a light hand or light pressure. That way you're not squishing the ink underneath the transfer. <clears throat> and the nice thing about ink is 
normally if I were pasting this, I would have to pull up the different pieces of the transfer so that my paste doesn't dry in my silk screen. But with the chalk or the ink, I don't have to worry about that as much. So I can keep working. Okay, so I'm going to do this whole word, world, in eucalyptus because it does have kind of a, a little piece of greenery at the end of it. And I'm going to come over to this little piece of greenery. Get rid of my excess and then try to start evening out all my little squeegee lines. If you don't, those will dry in your design. Okay. So we'll put that over here. So now we have our, <clears throat> we'll use our shimmer rose gold that we, we created with, um, shimmer copper berry and peony ink so i made it to kind of look similar to the shimmer rose gold get that off there which pretty close my ink color is a little more brown a little less shimmery but it was what i had to work with so let's get Some more squeegees out. So I'm going to do the sun up here. I'm going to make a mess. I should probably get the detail tool out, but. Since this big, there's a little, there's a swoopy line, a little flourish that's connected to the sun. I think instead of trying to avoid it, we'll just add that into the sun element. Um, let's get, let's get a detail tool out. It's actually a really pretty color and I add, once it starts to dry that shimmer will kind of it will get a little more enhanced as it dries and I think we'll do this what a down here just to add in a little more of that color because I made way too much Actually, here's another little swoop right under there ah, that we'll go ahead and do as well.
this is where that detail tool comes in or not the detail tool the multi-tool comes in super handy it can get into some of those tight little spots I think I might go ahead and do the line right underneath that as well just to bring in some more of that color we made it we might as well use it Okay, now let's bring in this crazy forest color that we made. So this we made with Cadet and um, Meadow. Um, and it looks pretty darn close to the forest color uh, in the paste line. So I'm going to turn this back around. Look at these little piece, this little section here. It's probably still a little more forest than, or a little more hunter green than forest green, but it's close enough. It's as close as I could get. Let's turn it back around. If you notice, I keep turning my project. I like to paste away from the other elements. I find it's a little easier to avoid those other elements. If I can paste away from. I probably should have made those lines right there rose gold, but... I'm going to turn my project again so I can paste away from my rose gold section. And then we'll come down here to the word wonderful. I'm going to turn my project again. Sorry, I'm kind of getting down to that last nitty gritty part, so I'm kind of trying to concentrate. Okay, let's hope that I got all of those pieces. Okay, I'm going to check my fingers 
for any rogue ink because if I touch my tote bag and I have ink on my fingers I will then have rogue ink on my bag and that's no bueno okay so let's Checking my fingers again. So I'm going to peel this up slowly. There's a little spot there. Very pretty. I'm just going to set that over there. Looks pretty good for handmade colors. Let's give this a, a decent dry. Beautiful. I need to find some fabric to make a cute little fabric tassel to go on it. Like you said, the colors are nice. Thank you. I'm pretty excited that I was able to almost match the taste colors. So I will let this dry overnight. I'm just drying it a little bit so that we can move it without wrecking it. Um, but I can heat set this. Let me show you the, here are the heat, the heat, the heat set <laughs> settings. So I like to let mine dry overnight to make sure that it. Turn that off. So that it's super dry. Um, and then you can either use a home iron, or you can use a Cricut Easy Press or um, an actual heat press. Um, if you're using a, excuse me, I gotta get a drink. I've got a tickle. If you're gonna use a home iron. Set your home iron to match the fabric um, that you're ironing on. Lay a piece of parchment paper over your design, not wax paper, but parchment paper. Um, you could probably even use like a brown paper bag. Um, and then you're gonna uh, lightly run your home iron over the design for up to four minutes. I would not do the complete four minutes because you may scorch your material. Um, if you're using a Cricut Easy Press or a Heat Press, then you can set that to 305 or to the setting that closely matches your fabric setting. And then you're going to lay a piece of parchment paper over it, and then you're going to use that um, uh, for, you're going to do that for 30 seconds. I would also flip it inside out and do the same thing. Put a piece of parch <coughs> parchment paper in between both layers inside out. That way, if the top side's not completely dry, it won't um, go over onto the back side. 
but put a piece of parchment paper over the back side and then um, heat set it from the bottom up as well. That way your back side is also heat set permanent. So once you've heat set you've heat set your ink, you can use the bag, you can wash the bag, um, and your ink will stay put. I love making e ink is one of my favorite things to use, mainly because you have a uh, like it. Uh, you have a lot more work time, so I didn't have to keep pasting and pulling. Um, my pa my ink doesn't dry in my silk screen like the paste does, so I really enjoy ink projects, and I don't do them near enough. But let's get this a little more dry. lift it up and I can show it to you a little closer. And here, let me just go full screen. It says, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see any of the shimmer. There's a little bit, not as much as there should be, but that's okay. I got the color down pretty good. I still need to go try that speedball glitter additive and see if that would help. But I think I like it. I think it's pretty. So let me go over <coughs> a few things. Um, again, this is the Club Couture transfer for the month. What a wonderful world. It does come with the three paste packets, forest, eucalyptus, and shimmer rose gold. Um, it is a three-month minimum commitment to sign up, but you can cancel at any time after that three months. It is $21.99. Um, it is shipped free to your home, and there are also additional promos and perks to Club Couture members per Chalk Couture. The perk this month is Club Couture members can get the Chalk Made for You Valentine Kit in December. By being a Club Couture member, you save 10%. That comes with, um, I can't read it. Let me make it bigger. Um, it comes with 30 cellophane bags and chalk suede tag toppers. It also comes with 100 pink and red staples. It comes with the four paste packets. It comes with the exclusive transfer. That transfer is only available in this uh, chalk made kit so that's why i highly recommend getting the chalk made kits because that's usually the only way you can get the, the transfer it also comes with color trays and a small squeegee <coughs> it's a super cute little kit i may play with it next week <coughs> sorry also in december um there is a premium perks pack for the winter 2022 season. So as a designer, if you want to get the designer pricing, you can sign up with the basic designer access pass for $99 or for $9.99. However, that designer access pass does not come with any product. So there are right now three tiers available to sign up as a designer. You can sign up with the perks add-on pack for $59. You can choose the Perks Plus add-on for $79, or you can choose this Premium Perks Pack for the winter. It is $99. <coughs> Excuse me. So it would come with this month's Club Couture transfer. It comes with five Valentine-inspired transfers, a three-ounce jar of bright white paste, seven paste single in, sing in seasonal colors. It comes with that 9 by 12 Aiden magnetic board. The 5x7 board and base, uh, a 12 pack of white chocolate chips. Uh, this month only, this Perks Pack Plus, or Perks Pack, pr bleh, Premium Perks Pack, 
comes with a tiered tray and the tiered tray essentials, which is a super heck of a deal. You also get a multi-tool, <coughs> a 24-pack of color trays, and a small squeegee. So that is over $250 retail for $99. And that also gets you the 40% off designer pricing. So that is a heck of a deal. Um, I don't think there were any other um, things to go over. Let me check, go back to my comments. Um, if there aren't any other questions, oops, <clears throat> I'm going to sign off for the evening. I should be live again Wednesday, um, probably same time in the evenings between 7 and 8. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this evening. Um, whether you were live or on the replay, thanks for watching this throughout the week. Thank you for your support. And if I don't see you um, here <clears throat> before the weekend, Merry Christmas. Stay safe. Stay warm. It's supposed to be super cold here in Kansas. Like one is the high on Thursday. Uh, and then with wind chills, it will be in the negative degrees. So stay safe. Stay warm. Merry Christmas. And I will see you on Wednesday. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.